uh, something interesting about Mexico, about Ciudad del Carmen, uh, including uh, that uh, the fauna here, it includes crocodiles as well, uh, real wild crocodiles, and uh, when I will have time, uh, I will go to the place where they exist, uh, these uh, crocodiles, and I will try to uh, investigate uh, which species, to which species they belong, these crocodiles, and what type they are, and uh, how they survive, how they are surviving, uh, etc. So as we can hear, there is this intersection that I grabbed last time, and uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, it can be called the intersection of death because it is very dangerous to pass here and. Uh, there is very uh, limited the period of time uh, uh, through which or uh, that is possible to cross uh, the road especially when there is traffic so it is the same place i showed last time where uh, people are selling things and trying to uh, survive today it looks that there is less traffic in general but i think it's very dangerous in general to cross these streets especially when trying to cross on this intersection so now we will try to cross this street of death or so the intersection of death is there and now i will try to cross this street safely in a safe manner yeah, I think now it is possible to cross to the other side uh, there is some interesting thing in general in Mexico uh, which is uh, that uh, normal pharmacies sometimes uh, okay this is like a, a series or chain of pharmacies called pharmacies del ahorro uh, most of these pharmacies in general they have uh, free uh, uh, free consultation uh, so people before they uh, buy their medicine they can see a doctor uh, have idea and uh, free consultation uh, on what they have exactly and what the real medicine they have uh, orientation medica gratuita uh, these pharmacies uh, they have this uh, they are annexed with this type of uh, orientation medica or uh, free medical consultation or sometimes it can be uh, not free but uh, it can be very symbolic uh, which means a very uh, small amount of money uh, for uh, to get a, a free medical uh, con uh, consultation if they have something called seguro social social security that every uh, citizen, Mexican citizen or a person, foreigner who have the uh, permanent residence or residency, he can get uh, free, uh, free medication and free medicines. Uh, even he can be uh, operated and have surgical operations uh, all uh, on government uh, expenses, uh, something uh, very nice that the government are uh, thinking about the thing and taking into consideration that not all people can attend and uh, visit uh, these private and expensive uh, hospitals. Uh, and I uh, have visited one of these hospitals uh, which belong to this uh, Seguro Social or Social Security and they are uh, very neat, uh, organized, they are equipped very, uh, with very uh, sophisticated and uh, uh, high-tech uh, equipment, uh, medical equipment and doctors are very uh, good and experienced enough and have the necessary expertise uh, to, uh, to, to deal with any type of uh, disease Uh, as it is a tropical island, uh, when it rains, it rains uh, cats and dogs, uh, they say in English. As we can see, there is ponds of water, literally ponds of water after rain. 
and sometimes uh, water can reach uh, up to uh, knees so as we can see here uh, there is these people who are uh, selling on the streets uh, they have very nice products it looks there is this uh, hangers for hats i think there is this lovely uh, pictures or drawings okay some people are passing by there are very nice products household products as we can see uh, there is these things for children as well some cartoon characters this is some superhero or something this another superhero this is dolphin there are more lovely products as well there are these lovely hats uh, they look uh, feminine there are all types of lovely products there are these pillows or uh, cushions I think 